I'm in the backyard. He's got one right there. Five points. Yeah. That's where I'm like I'm headed. Oh you gotta you gotta see where that boss is. for the day. Saying they're going to that one down the street.
excuse me, sir. Yeah. Show you a little bit of the stuff that we got today. Wasn't a lot of stuff there. It was a small auction, a small little cottage house. Um, I think there was maybe 15, 20 people there. Uh, wasn't a lot of people there. So, but things kind of got bit up a little higher than I anticipated. So we kind of left. They're still, I think they're probably still going now. So I spent um, 175 bucks. Uh, let's show you what I got. So the first thing that I'll show you guys is this, this old bars open clock. Um, I paid five bucks for this. And what was funny is I don't think anybody saw this. Uh, the auctioneer said that was a good pickup. Um, I had, I don't know if you guys remember, a guy that was a, uh, it said bar is open on it, and it was a little cast iron thing, and I sold that for 45 bucks. So I did test this out. It does work. The, um, the hour hand doesn't uh, work too much. I think I may have to, maybe I can fix it or something. I'm not sure. Um, but this does light up, so, um, like I said, it does work. Uh, next thing was, is I got these for, uh, these Christmas houses that are brand new. I got these for $2 each. Um, you, like you've known in the past, I do pretty well with, um, Christmas houses. Um, I know it says $14 here. Uh, was $20. Um, I'll probably sell these for $40 each. Um, nope, maybe I won't. I see it's from Kmart. Uh, we'll see. It says 20 but Kmart's been closed. That was 1995, so uh, we'll see. See, like I said, maybe 40 bucks out of each one of these. Um, the next thing that I got were the bats so i paid two bucks and got all these bats um this is a uh college bat the guy said hillrich and bradsby um i didn't really want this it does say frank robinson on it um and then this one says a souvenir of the world series but it doesn't say anything else on it so i'm not sure but i really wanted it for this um it says pete rose and then it says Hill Rich and Brad's be made in Louisville, Kentucky. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's a small bat. Um, then some of the other stuff, which was kind of weird that they didn't have more. I bought this. It's a brand new uh, milk carton. Doesn't look like it was ever used. Um, but it's got a Pete Rose card on it. Um, I paid two bucks for just this. Thought that was pretty cool to go to my collection. I paid seven bucks for this i'm not sure if that is signed by him i'll have to do uh take my magnifying glass but that's his uh was his bar um but that's just a souvenir it's a souvenir of his uh 4192 hits um a world champions pin from 1990 um Another Pete Rose pin. Uh, let's see. A world champions pin. Uh, from Kings Island. Huh. And then I really wanted these. I thought these were cool. So this is just a keychain bat from Hilderich uh, Brands Pier again. Um, and then this one is a pin. So... So those are those, and then uh, that was also in it, uh, 78 Reds, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it's got all the Reds players on there. Um, then they had this bobblehead and the Pete Rose bobblehead. Uh, let's see here, I'm not sure. I paid 17, and I only did that because I wanted this uh, Pete Rose. But I do know this one's an old bobblehead. Um, I know you probably can't see it. Um, it says, let me see here. It says 1974. 
sure I'm not probably getting a good picture of it. There it is right there. It says 1974. So this is an old bobblehead. Um, and then like I said, Pete Rose bobblehead. I don't know if, uh, oh, it's from 2002, I'm assuming. Yeah, farewell to Riverfront. So there's a 17. Um, so these ones I paid a little bit high for. So this says Jim O'Toole. He was a, uh, a pitcher for the Reds. I don't know if it's a real autograph. I can't tell. But I'm going to probably get this one authenticated. Um, I paid uh, five bucks for this bottle, this uh, baseball, which was, I couldn't believe I got it because there was a couple guys that were bidding against me. And then this is Joe Nuxall. I actually had to look this up because I could see Joe, but I couldn't see who this was. So I'm hoping that's a authentic um, ball. I paid five bucks for this. That was one thing that uh, the people didn't know. They said, uh, we know it says Joe something. The one guy said, Joe Nuxall. I'm like, shh, be quiet. <laughs> so, and then this one said, uh, this has got a authentication here. Uh, but this is a Pete Rose, and it says, um, let's see if I can get it for you. The top popped off. I paid 19 bucks for this. Um, it's got a stamp on it. I'm not sure. Oh, it says Cincinnati main office. Uh, I guess 1985, 1,985 of these were signed. Uh, he does do signatures, and they're not worth a whole lot because he does sign a lot. But he also charges the sign. Uh, but I got 19 in this one. Uh, next is these records. So I just finally saw the previous records that I had. I paid two bucks for these. Um, the last ones I had were all gospel. It took me a while to sell them. Um, I had, uh, I got 60 bucks in them. But this one's got um, a couple um, different things in it. Like it's got the uh, wonderful, it's a small world, Walt Disney. Um, and then it's got um I'm gonna turn this around for you guys. The swing era of time life. These are all like time life ones. Uh, Glenn Miller, the top bands. Um I don't see anybody that I know in there. Uh this looks sealed. No, maybe it's not sealed. And then there is 36 great old time favorites. Uh, uh I know Dixie. I don't know any of the other ones. Uh, Sweet Georgia Brown, I know that one. Then there's another swing arrow, which it probably goes into one of the um, holders. And there's a book. I don't think it's no. It's um just a book. Uh, that one may go with this right here. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, the bad thing is there's no no. Um, records in it so there's no records in this one so you can put all these in there bud um but like i said that was two bucks i overpaid i think for this one i didn't price it they had a bunch of old games uh, i think i showed you some of them in the video or tried to get them uh so this is an old table soccer game um i don't think i have it yes i do i paid 10 bucks for this I don't know if I'm gonna get 10 bucks out of it. Uh, I know it's gonna probably cost me a little bit to ship, um, but I will see, uh, I'll have to look this up and see. Um, looking for a year on it. Um, I don't see a year. You can go ahead and move that one. No year. So that was 10 bucks. I'm gonna see if I can get some of these boxes out of here. So, it's a crapshoot um, doing these boxes. Um, but I bought this, I bought a table, and I'll have to show you guys pretty much all this stuff right here. I paid two bucks for the table. Uh, last auction that I went to uh, with my mom, she bought some um, uh, purses, and uh, one of them had a hundred dollar bill in it and i'm like oh man it would be her luck uh, but some of these are brand new so there's this uh boyd's one um 
Here's another purse that, uh, uh, I don't know who that is. But it's a brand new one. So I may list that, list that one. Uh, this is another purse, which is probably nothing in this one. I'm sure everybody's looked at it. Man, this one's brand new too. Uh, no, it says general leather. It says a hundred bucks for this one. Uh, this can go in the garbage. See if there's anything in that one. Uh, this is a just a little nap bag or a beach bag with nothing in it. Oh, wait a minute. There's something in this one. Let's see if there's anything in that. Uh, let's see here. There was something on the... Uh, uh, oh, Estee Lauder. Huh? Maybe we'll try to sell that one then. Estee Lauder. This is... That can go in the garbage. Uh, this one's a brand new dog. Some kind of dog bed, it looks like, with paws on it. So, this is all brand new for the most part, it looks like. Yep, this is... Uh, Brand new, and this says uh, Tiganello Genoa Leather, which that this goes with this. Uh, let's see here, what else we got? Um, Macro Sky. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> Another new purse. So they might have um, kept these purses. Here, you hold this. So. I thought I saw a uh, sticker or something on it, but this is brand new as well. It just doesn't have no tags on it. And it um, says USA trademark. I don't see any names on it or even in the inside. So uh, let's see here. here's another one. I'm sure these have probably been gone through. That's the same thing. What, whoever made that one made this one. Uh, Stone Mountain, it says. I'm sure my mom's went through all these. And there is this one, which I'll probably throw this in the garbage just because. I'll show you why. Uh, nothing in this one, but you can see there's some leather there. Well, it took the leather off of this one. So, these will go in the garbage. Um, and this says, uh, Antony Ang Angler? I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can pronounce that better than I can. I don't think it's a good purse or brand, but there you go. There's the name. Uh, so, there's those. Um, so then I got, uh, I got all these tools here, sorry, uh, so I got these, all these tools for, there's the garbage, um, six bucks it looks like, uh, I got a pitchfork, uh, which now looking it's bent, I don't know if you guys can see that, I can bend it back. Um, then I got like just a little small little claw rake. Um, this is a, uh, oh boy, my mind's escaping me, but I didn't realize how bent it is, um, up there at the top. I actually have one, uh, it's for, uh, for in the ground when you're digging, uh, post holes, you stick this in it. Uh, they break up the rocks. Then I got me a, another shovel. And then there's another pitch pork. I'm going to have to have Chris go up there and grab some stuff. You can put those on the ground. Uh, I'll grab this. So I paid up for this. Because um, I was doing the comps on this one. And these were selling for 200 and some dollars. I honestly did not look at the condition. Which is my fault. Which you can see the rubber um around the outlet it's kind of chewed up um but i paid 45 dollars for this i think they knew that it was worth something but i'll probably clean it up uh clean the blades up um try to see if maybe it will work i don't think i will try to plug it in i'm not sure because like i said it's not in the greatest shape 
probably sell it as is. Uh, here's the pitchfork that I got too. Uh, so nothing, I think I'm a little overpaid on this one, but that's all right. Um, this star, I got this for two bucks. Um, I'm not sure what this wood is here. Um, but I figured I could hang this outside. It says indoor, outdoor. So, uh, this was part of that $2 for the table. Um, it's just got a, just a blanket, a big oversized blanket. Um, there's, it says a hat trinket book, but I don't think there was trinkets in here. I think it was just one item and it is just is a bluebird maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's a bluebird. Uh, made by Fitz and Floyd Essentials. So I don't know if this is worth anything with the lid. Oh, it is a hat. hat. Huh. I'll we'll try that one. Uh, then there is... Oh, I didn't see that. Some Budweiser glasses. There's one and there's one. Huh. Uh, Clydesdale. And then there is a glue gun, some kind of um, bear with a something on it. I'm not sure what these are. And then there is a another purse. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. And nothing in there nothing in there so nothing in that one Throw this away too. So there's that one and then so you know I grabbed these boxes I'm not sure what's in these um, it says cherry stacking supply drawer Pull that uh, open it up to show you guys this will be the first time I'm seeing it too so, oh, okay, so you can, uh, well, huh, so it's a drawer, like it says, and I guess you stack them on your, on your nightstand or something, you just, but well, that's what's in four of those boxes, I got that box, that one, that one, and this one, uh, Again, this was like a whole table for two bucks. Here, let me put that back in. Um, I might be able to do something with this one. I'll have to see. Uh, looks like um, somebody broke it trying to pull it out. It's like um, the uh, other thing. But uh, these are all brand new. Like I said, there's four of them. And then I got um, this little hummingbird wind chime. This was in it for two bucks. I better open it up and see because my mom was telling me on the way home that uh, some of the stuff that she bought, and it, and it is, huh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it does look like it's been outside though. I'm just looking at the, I don't know if you can see that the, uh, Times uh, got a little uh, flake on them from being set outside. Then there are these, which are a little cherished precious moment things. Dana snow figuring. Those were in there. And another one, snowball without you, which you know typically in in the winter I can do pretty good with these. I mean I'm sure I'll get. Like I said, the whole table was two bucks, which I'm still showing you stuff. So I would think that these are 2002. I get, I know it says 25, but I would think I get like 15 bucks each one of those. Um, this says from Doug. Hi, Doug. Um, look like a uh, gravy bowl with uh, two candle holders, looks like. Yeah, maybe. It says International Silver Company. So that's a pretty good brand. So, uh, it says ivory color ceramic with gold rim. 
set of three Christmas set includes a candy dish. So it wasn't a gravy dish, a candy dish and a pair of candle holders. <laughs> and then this one was says never display. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see here if I can open this up for you guys. Some of this. Let's see here. So it's some teddy bears and that's brand new. Cherished teddies. So, um, there was a lot of stuff too that she had. She had uh, tape on it and she had some stuff that I don't know if she had a yard sale or what. This is some kind of bowl um, with snowflakes on it. Snowflake bowl. It's brand new. Oh, it says snowflake cake stand. <laughs> right here. What's if I read? Uh, then this one was on there, so I'm not sure what this is. It says open this side only. I think it's another figurine. Oh, it is. It's a bear. Uh, and he's got glass. I think he just broke, but I don't, maybe not. So that was in there. So that is all of my $2 table. So then I lied to you. I had this left. Um, I got a bug zapper. Well, here, let's start with this one. It's just a nat nativity set. Um, it's brand new. Uh, I know you guys can't see in there, but I don't want to open it too much. See, there's the people. There's Jesus. Uh, it says 12 inch fiber optic, so I'll probably, uh, again, I'll probably sell that for more than two. Then there's a solar shade that came with it, put in the car. Um, I saw this little uh, crock pot, but it doesn't have a name on it, and I'm not sure how it really works. Oh, that's how it worked. Now watch, you guys are watching me, I'm going to break this. I think it goes like that and it does there you go now i fixed it there's nothing no markings on this one but that was in it this uh snow globe was on it which oh they spin here uh well i don't know how it spins because it's not i don't know you don't wind it up or nothing i don't maybe it just moves like itself but that was in it and then this cordless bug zapper with a mosquito repeller keychain. This was in it. Uh, I'll have to see if it's brand new, which it does not look like it is. Nope, it is yellow. Uh, it came from a smoking, a very bad smoking house. So everything's yellow. So that was all in this one. This was the first thing I bought. I spent... Uh, two bucks for this lot. Christopher got rid of my puzzles that I didn't want. I, I wanted them, but he did something with them. Um, so this is brand new. Uh, they've never been played. I looked these up and they go for about, she's got $2 on it and that's what I got it for. But uh, they go for about 40 to 50 bucks. So I thought that was pretty good for that one. Um, I bought this, this set for, uh, let's see here. I'm sure I probably don't have this one wrote down. I do. $2 for these baskets. Um, reason being, they were in another box, and the auctioneer started digging stuff out of the box, which I'm like, oh, don't do that, because I actually looked them up, and then I got a splinter on my finger. But this one is a Lonenberger. Now, the other people said these aren't all Lonenbergers, but no, that says American Traditions. But some lady said these, these were, there was Lonenberger, but there's another Lonenberger. And then this one says Lonenberger. So I got three Lonenbergers and one American Craft. So for two bucks, I didn't think that was a bad deal for some Lonenberger. Uh, but my mom said that uh, Lonenberger doesn't sell very well, so I don't know. I picked up this Christmas box 
uh, for four bucks. Um, it had this in it, which is an old one. I don't know if you can see the the um, the uh, extension cord or the cord end. Uh, she's got it. Bought it for nine twenty nine, but I didn't see a date in here. But I'll tell you now. I'm sure this is from the seventies. I'm not positive, and it doesn't say anything on it. But I'm I'm a, I'd almost bet I'd probably get at least. 30 or 40 bucks um, you guys will find out here soon looks like the Christmas tree fell off because it goes back there um, and then there's some um, another a night light from yeah I used to know that's uh, key um, then there's a dog then there's an old uh, walking Santa there's no date on this one either. This is an old one too. And he, uh, he did it. It has been opened. Um, then a battery operated reindeer. Uh, made by Funny Toys. <laughs> no date on that one. And then a says musical globe. Um, an Avon holiday candles from 1981. Um, she had, like I said, a lot of old stuff. There's a candy mailbox. Uh, no date on this one. And then finally, an Alpine Sky Village. These Alpine Villages, oh. She's got a whole bunch of paper towels in it. I don't know if it's all there, but it looks pretty old. I don't look at the old, uh, oh, some of them are even new. Okay, so there's those. Uh, this was in here too as well. Um, I'm sorry, this was a different box lot. So I'm gonna show you guys this one. This box lot I got for four bucks it looks like so it's got I did well with one of these um, this is not complete but uh, I sold one of these for thirty but dollars it's an old tree topper um, no date on this one either but I'll show you why because I'm in the tree topping business because oh, I'm not gonna pull them all out but all of those are tree toppers see Looks like she got them from Kroger. Uh, let's see what's behind this one. GE uh, Reef Lights. So, I mean, these are pretty old. Um, that one you can't tell by the plug, but again, I think uh, paying four bucks, I think I'll do pretty good on that. So. That looks like it's it. I'm looking at uh, everything I got, but yeah, that's it. Pretty much it. I don't have anything else. So, like I said, not a great auction, but not a bad one. I'll do a lot better than $170. Some of it I'll keep, uh, like the red stuff. Um, everything else I should do pretty well with. So, all right, till next time. Peace.